<gasps> Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited slash terrified because uh, today I'm having my extensions taken out and we're basically going to give my real hair some actual TLC because it hasn't had like more than a tiny trim um, on the ends in a very 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 long time so you're gonna see a long to short hair transformation here because I think we're gonna lop off quite a lot I've literally been like looking at images of like short hair on Pinterest like preparing myself don't get too excited it's not a pixie cut or anything like that whenever anyone gets their hair cut on youtube and it's not like above your mouth level people are like that's not short but it will be like somewhere around this area which to me is very very short and yeah my actual hair is just like really in need of going disappearing <laughs> it just needs to not be on my head anymore i literally am at my point as well with my tapes where i'm like i'm gonna pull them all out if they don't come out so i'm just gonna see how long i can go without them and yeah i'm excited to bring you along with me because we haven't wow what's going on with my voice <sighs> i literally woke up about half an hour ago because my alarm didn't go off and thank god lauren comes to pick me up because <laughs> i would not be here people i would be in bed <laughs> it's like the first kind of day back after the new year and i've already fucked up i'm very very excited because we haven't seen me with long hair on this channel in a very long time so short hair, short hair. fuck i was like is she gonna say something else what? i literally was like just like sitting here thinking what did i just say makeup looks like today either like i can't I feel like you know when you, you're still like half asleep and you're like i can't see and i was doing my makeup like that so there's probably some major like errors on my face and i probably don't look how i'm meant to look but i really wanted to do a full face makeup i think when you're doing something new to your hair like my one piece of advice is don't ever go into the hairdressers with no makeup on because i just always feel really really crappy after so yeah full face of makeup we're saying goodbye to my hair longest intro in the world yeah, sorry. I'm in the chair. My hair has definitely looked better. It really needs a wash and a brush, which I did not have time to do this morning. The brushing bit, I wouldn't have washed it. But over here, we have two lumps of hair. These are some tapes that have come out of my head, sadly, because Christmas took its toll on me, apparently. And these are some of my old extensions. And I'm gonna show you what we're doing with these a little bit later. I'm very, I'm actually really happy with my hair. There was a brief point where I was sat in the hairdresser's chair a bit like, mm. <laughs> and then we actually just popped a few extensions in at the front because um, there was basically a shoot that I went on and we had a bit of a, well, I say we, there was a bit of a mishap with the curlers and a lot of my hair ended up very, very thin and scraggly. So I'm missing front bits a little bit. They're very, very short. So we've just popped a few extensions in around the front, which literally clip in so I can take them out every day. And it's just added a little bit more kind of length here. And I'm really, really happy with it. It's just nice to have like extension-ish free hair for a bit. And it's really fun having shorter hair. I haven't had short hair like this in quite a while, like a couple of years. And the last time it looked like this, I think I had darker brown hair. Not super dark, but like a mid-brown dark hair. I'll try and find a pic. It's like 2013 and this really reminds me of it. So yeah, I'm really excited to have it short for a little bit. I've made a provisional appointment to have tape to put back in in case I get to the end of the month and I'm like, I just hate it, I want my long hair back. But um, it's definitely cancellable. I might just go in and have a tone or something just to kind of like give it some TLC. But I'm just really excited to kind of like let it grow and be 
thick and healthy again because the bleach really did like thin it out i've always found that whenever i've bleached my hair it does get to the point of like a year after and it starts looking a little bit thin and i love having really thick swishy hair at the moment so project grow my hair is a go i'm really really happy that it's so soft and i'm really glad that we didn't actually end up cutting a lot of blonde out really either so did they just beep at me i think so uh, why are you doing me like this <laughs> But yeah, we didn't cut all of the blonde out by any means. I'm very happy with this one. Thank you. The extensions really saved it because my short bits at the front were making me sad. But yeah, very happy with it. I might do a couple of little like short hair hair tutorials if you'd like that. I'd actually love to put that together. That would be really cute. Lauren's not doing it. I think Lauren would like that one. So. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing with my hair rehab extensions to Lauren's hair as well so that she can have like a nice swishy long mob. I'm really excited. Can't wait. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get off home now because I really need to get my 2019 favourites up. I have been really slack with videos over the past week. I planned to do so many videos between Christmas and New Year and then I was actually like, fuck it, I really want to have like a Christmas break and yeah, I failed. And I was also very, very hungover for a lot of the Christmas period so you know you only live once YOLO <laughs> wow. <You're> 21 again <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna get off home now and do this video and I just need to get in the car because my hands are freezing but um, yeah really really happy with my hair it's cute so yeah new year who dis new hair who dis <laughs> set up really weirdly on top of a perfume bottle so if you fall off if anything goes wrong i'm not taking responsibility for it it was the all saints perfume it is monday i took the weekend not off um but i took the weekend to finish off another vlog which you may or may not have seen by now i'm not sure what order i want to put these vlogs up in apparently this year is the year that i ditch chronological order but thought I'd talk you through how I'm doing my hair at the moment and yeah just a little bit more about I think I kind of said on Friday about having extensions in still I posted uh, an Instagram of my new hair which all of you really liked so thank you so much for all of the love on that and I did have a few questions on the hair lots of people were like oh I'm so happy you ditched the extensions and you finally got your natural hair and I'm like Ugh. my hair is still not its natural color really it's still very blonde and I still definitely have extensions in so as far as calling this natural that I personally wouldn't but I did want to just kind of like talk you through how I'm doing my hair at the moment answer a few questions especially on like the extensions because I do think they make such a difference and they're making me feel so much better like short hair is not my comfort zone this is definitely not my comfort zone so having that little bit more thickness that my hair is currently lacking uh just makes so much difference whilst uh it's kind of thickening back up again so yeah basically my hair got very thin because of the bleach uh lots of people are like oh it must be the extensions it's not they're actually very gentle uh but my hair has always thinned after bleaching it i don't I'm not the best at taking care of it and I've really learned my lesson now because I think this was like, obviously I went from being so, sorry I keep touching my hair, I know that's gonna drive people mad. It just feels really soft. <laughs> But I went from being so dark and having so much like build up of dark dye on my hair to then kind of cutting that out and being very very blonde and we slowly kind of like dyed well actually not too slowly but we did kind of like strip all of that color out using bleach and I did want to be blonde like I liked being dark I really liked being dark but I also wanted to try something new so we did go blonde in like about a month I would say and that obviously does take its toll on your hair more than it ever has before my hair is always thinned after having bleach on it you could see that um, I started to go very blonde at the end of 2017 I believe and throughout 2018 my hair was much thinner than it had been the year before because I'd been building up bleach on my hair uh, it then really started to thicken up end of 2018 when it was dark and then obviously I went blonde again and <laughs> By the way, sorry if I'm really snotty today, I'm very poorly, like this cold has just been building for a while now and it's just really catching up with me. It's a miracle that I'm upright right now, but I wanted to talk more about my hair and why I decided to chop it. So yeah, basically it became very, very thin and I just really, when I have my tape extensions out, I still want to feel really happy with the condition of my real hair and I just was, it really 
over the course of I'd say like August to September I had that shoot and I think it really just like was the the straw that broke the camel's back with my hair every time I'd had my extensions out before then the hair had been really really healthy and we were really happy with the fact that it stayed on my head after having bleached it so much like we were really really impressed with how my hair held up and then I did this one photo shoot and the curls that were put in like they were put in higher than I would ever put curls in on my head and that was why we kind of couldn't work out where some of the like damage was coming from because it wasn't like just where I would curl it. I'd already curled it that day and then the stylist really wanted to recurl it and I think I'd become very comfortable with other people doing my hair to the point where I didn't even check that she'd use heat protectant and basically I could nail it when I look back at photos from that point onwards my hair just got thinner and thinner and thinner and I think that really kind of like damaged it that day so we've kind of had a chat the past couple of times that I've had my hair done Laura was really kind of very supportive of the chop she really wanted to do it Lauren was egging me on she really wanted to see me with short hair because I think she hasn't seen me with short hair for a really long time so yeah that is how we ended up here but my hair is obviously still quite thin it's thickened up so much like we cut off basically all of the thin scraggly ends and it's so much thicker now like so so nice just got these like short front bits to grow out this side actually is fine I'm not I'm not mad about that it's the other side that's a bit of a nightmare thank god for hair tucks but yeah basically just to uh thicken it out a little bit I've been using some old extensions that I had that just happen to match my blonde perfectly at the moment these are the hair rehab I think they're Coachella blonde I believe I will double check that Laura put these in my hair and then cut them to length oh my eyes leaking oh the joys of having a cold no literally just put makeup on so yeah those go in my head i'm going to show you how i do that now i was going to do like a full sit down with like some like tutorials on how to make cute hairstyles within this video but i just didn't have the chance to kind of do an inspo board or anything over the weekend and i'm just feeling really poorly so i thought i'd just kind of show you what i'm doing at the moment and then if you guys want like a short hairstyles video short hair like obviously i don't have a pixie crop or anything but this is very short for me and a slightly more difficult length to do anything with i would say like still short enough to make your life a little bit more difficult so yeah i'm just gonna live with the hair for a few more days weeks and then put that video together if that's something you would like it's gonna run the straightness over my hair a little bit first the thing i really like about my hair being this length is it actually like stays pretty straight like i'm actually quite surprised i don't know if it's laura working her magic by the way i'm i have a mirror behind me but i'm actually using my viewfinder to do my hair in so if you're wondering why i keep looking up that is why oh by the way i've already sprayed my hair with heat protectant uh, this is the GHD Heat Protect Spray. I really like this one. I've used this one for quite a few years. That and the Tresemme uh, Heat Defense Spray. I really, really like. But yeah, I use my GHD Platinum Plus stylers and a hairbrush. I don't really section my hair. I used to, when I had my tape extensions in, I kind of section my hair in order to straighten it. But I don't really need to do that with my hair at the moment. The only place I would th do that on my head is the back. And kind of do it in sections because it is a little bit trickier for me to see obviously and there's always just that bit that's like a bit bumpy so I kind of section it off using my nails at the back but you could use a pointy comb happy with that and then I'm just gonna section from kind of from about here I use my nail but again you could use a pointy comb I don't know where my pointy comb is for anyone who's a long-term sub I lost the red comb a long time ago it hasn't emerged since I have lived in this flat so it's been gone for about a year and I'm really sad about it I'm hoping when I move next it will make a reappearance but um, I actually don't know where any of my pointy combs are right now so I'm just gonna use my nail and from about just before the arch in my eyebrow which is here I'm gonna take that and then I go diagonally now this one on this side I think can actually go slightly higher up the, this side I have to put it a little bit lower we have that nice straight line and I'm just gonna clip the extension quite close to my hairline on my hairline here it actually goes quite severely in so um, I like to add a little bit more thickness just above that so yeah that's what we're looking at and then I just check to make sure it's kind of like I think that's that's about right once both of them are in I kind of check and make sure they're the same length and then the other side I think I'm gonna go from about here so I think this is about right still getting used to it I did it twice yesterday because I was like I don't think I've done it right this will definitely take some getting used to but what I might do is if I really 
get on with this hairstyle and this hair. What I think I might do is go back and have a couple of taping extensions just put along the top of my hairline so that it's permanently thickened up. And then the great thing about that is as my hair grows longer, the extensions will also, obviously because they're taped, they will grow down with my natural hair. Whereas with these, at some point, if I just let my natural hair grow, these are gonna become shorter than my real hair. So um, it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking to kind of take up this method is it's not like completely foolproof but it's pretty good for if you are in need of some thickness this one's actually a bit wavy i'm gonna give this a little bit of a string and then what i do is i just take the front bits and just really gently kind of sweep them away from my face just so it's got a little bit more shape i think it just kind of frames your face a little bit better so just like that it kind of falls out throughout the day but i just think it looks quite quite cute yeah that's pretty much it you can hairspray it after if you want to i have just been leaving it it's being very well behaved i don't know if it's because laura's just styled it on friday and i haven't washed it since yet i'm really looking forward to the fact that because it's so short i'm barely ever gonna have to wash this probably gonna be back to like washing it once a week which is goals yeah that is it this really reminds me of hair that i had back in like 2000 and 14, I think I think the end of 2013 I have my hair cut to this length and it really reminds me of that literally making me feel 22 Ooh. Yeah, I really like it these extensions also mean it goes really well into a ponytail like I do have to obviously clip I use like bobby pins just some ones that you pick up from boots. They're the blonde color But obviously you have to bobby pin like my fringe bits because they're shorter but it goes really well into a ponytail because of the uh, longer extensions and it kind of keeps the hair that's shorter that's underneath the extensions in place quite well so you don't end up having to like bobby pin your whole head i can just whack two in at the fringe and yeah it sits really nicely in a ponytail and kind of thickens the ponytail up a bit so it kind of like stands a little bit more um, and does these bits that's the extension there so it's just giving that a little bit more volume it's really cute so that is how i'm currently doing my hair in case you're interested in how to thicken up a long bob i'm really excited to hopefully do this to lauren's hair at some point this week as well so yeah i hope that has been helpful for you in terms of like cutting uh, the extensions i'm not the professional at this laura did this for me yeah i would definitely recommend going to your hairdresser and having them put the extensions in like clip-ins in and then cutting to your hair length because i do not recommend doing this to yourself at home but yeah if you want to see me do lauren's <laughs> let me know okay now i'm gonna decide what to wear this morning i have a raging temperature so be ready to see me in something that's probably very seasonally inappropriate as predicted i've thrown on the most seasonally inappropriate thing i can find this is a midi dress more of a maxi dress on me from mango it's like a little bit warmer than your standard midi dress but it's perfect for right now because i'm boiling and i just need to not be wearing too much clothing so yeah, that is what I am wearing today. I've got my ASOS slippers on. If I go out, I'll probably wear a pair of trainers with this and then maybe like a leather jacket. So I'm just having a bit of an organizing moment. Basically, I am going away with Ryan tomorrow. I've got my overnight bag out. I've got a bikini that is new from ASOS. I've just unboxed a few bits from ASOS and this was in it and I really love it. I actually always start looking for swimwear this time of year because it's when the best stuff is on ASOS. Everywhere else is kind of a little bit later in the year, but ASOS is like this time of year you want to get the good stuff and i'm also reuniting myself with some of my bikinis which i'm so excited about i'm going to watch my swimwear igtv back and see which ones i like the most because like ones like this i'm like i can't remember if i liked you so i think that video would be really helpful i will link that in the info box if any of you might also find that helpful i know i really liked this one that was my favorite one in ibiza i literally wore it all the time this one's amazing it's like the one that rosie huntington whiteley wears but in green might take that one with me don't know we'll see um yeah and i've also got my other bits from asos over here i've picked up some new gym bits i really like this set it's like a corset kind of tie up at the front i just really like that detail i've then also got a kind of nude colored crop top i've got a black one as well which is a little bit sheerer this one we go for like when i'm doing yoga at home i really want to get back into yoga this year since discovering i can do crow's pose last year that was like a game changer and now i actually really enjoy yoga because i feel like i'm kind of good at it i think this will be really cute just thrown over like this and then like tied it's quite like loose and slouchy so you can kind of like tie it in a knot or tuck it i also picked up some shorts i thought this would be the best time of year all of asos's um kind of active wear is like stocked 
really really well at the moment and it's not always so I wanted to get a pair of shorts before we get to the summer and everyone's bought the shorts and I am not able to buy the shorts so I just picked up a black pair. I think it's gonna be so handy because I just couldn't get by last summer in my leggings it was too hot. I also picked up a coloured set to try. I'm gonna try them we'll see let me know if you kind of want to try on of some of these. I'd really enjoy that. I've also done a gym to brunch IGTV if any of you are interested in that kind of thing um, so I'll link that below as well. I'm just really pimping out my IGTVs right now but yeah I've done kind of swimwear and active wear on there so let me know if you'd like some more of those or if you prefer them on my channel or whatever if you'd like a week in active wear kind of video. I'm not going to try all this on right now because uh, I don't have time and I need to actually go and do some like bits on my computer. So I'm going to get packing now and do some bits on my computer and I'll be back with you in a bit. <laughs> It is Tuesday, I'm just finishing up my packing. I've added a few more things into my little overnight bag, so I think you'll see those on Instagram. I'm not gonna take you through all of them now because I feel like this vlog is gonna be really long and the last vlog that I uploaded was long enough. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it's like a beauty, storage, decluttering, closet organization video. So just like a whole load of organizing already for the start of 2020 so definitely go give that a watch i will maybe try and put it here but yeah that is gonna be it from me and this vlog and my new choppy hair i will see you guys in the next one love you bye